What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today I'm heading out to Secret Headquarters uh, to pick up a comic book. They've got a 20% off sale at the moment so I pick something up off their website. Uh, but normally when we go down to Secret HQ on a Sunday, uh, there's this market that we always drive past as well. I don't know if it's called the Beaconsfield Market or whatever, uh, but normally we get there a little bit too late because it closes pretty early. Uh, so we're leaving a little bit earlier today uh, to check out the market as well. Uh, and then we'll go to Secret HQ, check out, um, pick up my book and then um, see what else they might have there. And then after that, we're also going to maybe check out a place called Pickers Retro Haven, which is like a little antique sort of collectible store. Uh, they sell everything from toys, comics to, you know, antique jars and plants and everything you can think of. They'll have it there. So, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. So I knew the market was going to be busy, so I parked in the first spot I came across, only to find that we were in for a long walk. Here we are walking into the place, so mostly food stalls set up at the front. Now again, I think it's called Beaconsfield Market. They run every Sunday. And the more we walked around, the bigger this place seemed to get. So, and there was all kinds of stuff. Now I can't stand crocs, but these croc gibbets kind of made crocs seem cool. This store was pretty cool actually, they had all these earrings that were all pop culture related. Here they are here. And then I found some toys. Now something seemed a little bit off with these toys. Like this Superman figure, like it's clearly a Superman figurine, but there's a picture of Spider-Man on the box. Scroll down a little bit, there's also some Christian Bale Batman. That's a lot of fun right there. And then this whole little shed warehouse thing was filled with just fake toys. Uh, although those bubble tea plushies are pretty cool. I've always wanted one of those because uh, I'm a bubble tea kind of guy. But yeah, there was just this whole place was just decked out with um, fake goodness, I guess, if you want to call it that. Like, check out this dodgy Lego logo. They're way off there. They're not even trying to sound like Lego. But the best thing I saw in this fake warehouse place was this pop vinyl. Oh my goodness. The Avengers? Nope. It's the Avkunders. Avkunders. It's a Venomized Hulk, it looks like. Uh, there's Iron Man on the box. There's Thanos. I don't know what's going on there. But it was good stuff. This table here was a little bit more to my liking. There's some Hot Wheels there. They look pretty legit. Um, this is pretty much like someone's garage sale. Sell selling their kids old toys. There's some 12 inch Marvel figures, some Star Wars. Uh, that Luke Skywalker in the top right looks pretty good there. There were some cool loose figures in this tub. That Nightwing there was just calling out to me, but I didn't buy him. I really, really wanted to buy this Batmobile though. It was $10, but I just don't have the room for something like that at my place. I was surprised to see so many Pokemon cards here. Um, I don't know if these are fake or real. Um, they look pretty legit to me, but I know there's a big market for fake Pokemon cards too. So, uh, but I mean, these this store seemed pretty legit. Um, there was this cute girl with blue hair I kept seeing, so uh, I was kind of creeping on her a little bit. And then before I left, I thought I should get myself a coffee, but little did I know until after I ordered my coffee that there were about 30 coffees to be made before mine. So I was really hoping that this coffee was worth the wait. Um, turns out it was just all right. And then we headed to Secret Headquarters, which is just down the road from the market. Secret Headquarters is one of my favorite comic shops to visit. Uh, great people that work there and just a really, really sh good shop. Full of all kinds of stuff uh, from comic books, of course. They've got new releases, back issues, trades. They've got pop finals here, as you can see. Manga. They've even got vintage toys, loose toys, all kinds of good stuff. Um, I really can't get enough of coming in here. There's always something to look at when you head to Secret HQ. 
Look at all this awesome Star Wars stuff in this cabinet. I want to buy them all, but unfortunately, don't have the funds, but uh, I can look at this stuff all day. I just really love being surrounded by all this nerdy goodness. Uh, here's one of their statue shelves here. Uh, they've got this awesome crow statue in the back corner there. It looks amazing. I really wanted to get this Star Wars Rebels manga, but it was Volume 3, and I didn't want to get Volume 3 without having Volume 1 and 2, but look at that art, it's amazing, I love it. They got heaps of comic book accessories, boxes, as you can see. Ooh, there's the girl with the blue hair again. Mm -mm. Here's their wall of CGC slabs and key issues. We had a fantastic chat to Chris who works there. Chris is an amazing artist who I actually interviewed in one of my old Supernova videos. You should follow him on Instagram. And then a little bit further down the road was Picker's Retro Haven. I love this place, but before we went in, we got a little bit hungry. So we decided to visit Uncle Barney's just out the front and get us some hot dogs. Here is my hot dog. A yum yum yum. And this is the inside of Picker's Retro Haven. They've got all kinds of stuff. As I mentioned, when the zombie apocalypse hits, we know where to come to get knives. Here's their knife collection there. Look at that banger at the bottom. Oof. So every time we come here, we always check out the comic section and you just never know what you're going to find. I just cannot believe how cheap some of these comic books go for here. You go through the back issues here and there's just $2 books, $3 books. It's just not something you see very often. Oh my God, it's the girl with the blue hair again. She likes comic books. This room here was filled with all kinds of stuff. You got Barbie dolls and My Little Ponies and all these little things, some random naked chick just standing there, you need to put some clothes on ma'am. Uh, you got some Lego, Simpsons, 12 inch DC, Marvel figures, Star Wars, it just goes on and on and again you can just stare at this stuff forever. I really enjoy being in this room. Last time I was here, I saw this Porg, and I tapped it on the head and it started coming at me. And almost fell off the shelf and then I caught it. Uh, I think his batteries are dead, or maybe his soul is dead now. Rest in peace, Porg. had shelves of VHS tapes for all you VHS collectors, this awesome Princess Leia stand which was actually only $110 which is not too bad for something like that, that's pretty good. Uh, this room here is like, I call it the past, look at all this old electronic equipment, um, people these days laugh at this stuff, it's so bulky and big but you know what, they don't make stuff like this anymore these days alright, today's stuff is made to last two years and then it breaks down. They don't make them like this stuff anymore. Uh, here's a pretty interesting phone we came across. The boob phone. This store here had heaps of anime stuff and all these statues were surprisingly cheap. And then you find out of course the reason they're cheap is because they're not real. They're fake. Uh, the reason I discovered this is because I've got this Harley Quinn statue right here from Kotobukiya. It looks decent, it looks just a little bit off, but then when you actually come across the box up here, you can tell that that box is fake as fuck. Look at it, completely different. I then ended my day by taking that girl with the blue hair home with me. So, fun day. Uh, I did pick up a couple of things. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up any toys, so even though I'm probably going to call this video a comic and toy hunt, um, there were some toys I saw at the market that, you know, I thought about, I really wanted that Batmobile for $10, uh, but it's just, I didn't have room for this giant Batmobile. I really do want one though, uh, and I was very tempted, but yeah, there's nothing, no toys that I picked up, but I did pick up some books from Secret Headquarters, uh, and I did pick up just a couple of things from uh, the Pickers Retro Haven as well, so I'll show you those before I wrap this video up.
So nothing super exciting, but uh, the thing I actually bought online off uh, Secret HQ from their website was the volume four of Something's Killing the Children. Now, obviously I have read all this and I do have the individual uh, issues. Uh, this is my favorite comic book series uh, and I didn't actually start collecting the individual issues until issue 15. Uh, and I read the first three volumes in trade actually. Uh, so even though I've got all these stories individually, uh, I just want to be able to refer back to the story sometimes and it's much easier to do in trade uh, so i picked up volume four there i also picked up this adam hughes uh, dark x-men issue one this is a newer new release book so uh, i picked up this nice adam hughes cover i don't even know who the character is but you know me i'm a big fan of adam hughes uh, so i picked that one up off the shelf and then just a couple of back issues i found uh, in their back issue bins they did have 20 percent off back issues so first one is this cool red Sonya variant um, I've never seen this one it's one of the toy variants which I was saying to Chris when I was at the shop I didn't used to like these toy variants when I first started collecting but now I actually love toy variants so uh, I hadn't actually seen this red Sonya one before uh, so I thought I'd pick that one up to add to the red Sonya and toy variant collection uh, and then I also picked up this one, this is Scorched issue 1. So I haven't read a lot of Spawn, but I recently started watching the uh, Spawn animated series, the old HBO one. And I've started to become fascinated with some of the Spawn characters. She Spawn, I think it is, Jessica Priest. I've always thought she was a very, very cool looking character. I do have one of the variants, you know, from this series. Uh, but I figured the issue 1 here, I should pick that up if I want to actually read it. So, uh... Pretty cool cover there. That's all I picked up from Secret HQ. And then while I was at um, Pickers Retro Haven, they've got a comic book section there, which is so ridiculously cheap. You will find books, like new release books that came out in the last six months that we sit in these boxes for three, four, five dollars. Uh, unbelievable. Just picked up two things. This was $2.50. I don't even know what it is. It's Hyperion, it's a Marvel book, uh, but it's one to add to the uh, Kiss cover collection, uh, as a lot of you guys who've been watching me for a while know, I collect Kiss covers. You know what? I don't know who did this art, but I mean, it almost looks like old style Adam Hughes. Cool Kiss cover, $2.50, I thought, why not? And then this is actually a trade. Uh, Angela, Asgard's Assassin. I picked this up for $8. So I've actually got the first two issues uh, from this story, which I haven't read yet. And I recently started looking them up on eBay to try to complete the set so I can maybe read it found the trade for $8, it collects the first six issues. I don't know how long this actual series went for because of the whole Spawn thing I started watching recently. I've always been fascinated in the character Angela. I actually just read her um, her first appearance in Spawn issue the other night. Uh, so I'm quite fascinated by her. Uh, I'm gonna wanna check that out. This is her um, when she switched over to Marvel. That was the few books that I picked up. Uh, if you guys are still watching this video, I really appreciate you. If you guys are enjoying these vlogs, uh, please let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. I might leave a link to the other vlogs I've done recently, the Toy Fair vlog, the Toy Hunt vlog that I did uh, in the description below, as well as the end screens that are about to pop up. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. And until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple.